Hi family, it's me again, your sister Pusha Mahal. Ashem, forget it. Is this sister Pusha? She loves being nice. And today she's looking all girly girly. Mm. I had to put on my my hat. Uh, anyway, let all this not fool our people and uh, we focus on this. What is this after all? But then after all, we thank you. We are looking like a movie. Yes. Um, why do I come out and tell my testimony? Why do I want to be a herald that warns people? It's because uh, a lot of people are going through so much rough patches. People are going so much turmoils. People are going so much poverty. People are going so much, you know, trials that they think money will solve their problem they think that having everything is actually going to 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 help ease whatever troubles they may be going through i want to tell somebody that a poor man with peace is more richer than a wealthy man with sorrows and being poor you are actually richer than the world can ever see you see, and things that we desire for our souls are things that solve problems temporarily. You know, uh, there are things that you, you will take, of course, they will work for you temporarily and they will please the eye. You know, they will please the flesh. The desires of the flesh will be met because once you enter into a covenant for wealth, uh, you are going to get these, that, that, but there's a high demand of price to be paid. And uh, the greater the price, the more richer you get. But at the same time, the more secret sorrows that you carry on your own. Um, I've went into these covenants in different forms and ways so much that there are two incidents that i want to tell you about one of the baby um baby um journeys that i partook in ghana left me with one foul smell for me Again, thank God, I was also a traditional healer. I knew how to solve certain problems, you know. For me to come up with, come out with this problem, I had to solve it again with another covenant, you know. You get into this, you, you have to go the other way again to get. It is so much that I got myself. It was like a web. I was just a spider drawing up a web, drawing up a web, and ultimately my own web caged up with me. So... For me to solve that false smell as coming from someone, you know, because the person himself, he has a false smell and you can fix it. And you have to bring it to yourself because you accept the mentality of this is what has to happen in order for you to get certain powers. You look at the person and be like, are oh, you more than this person? And then... You go again. You see, this one was a primary level. Going to Mozambique, meeting this other old person. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. That one is not my grandfather. That, is one is, that one is my great grandfather, in a sense. You know, someone that is qualified to be my great grandfather looks at this person yellow bone of course behind the 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 color uh, behind the because i was not like this <laughs> no i was not like this but you he could see you know these people can see they can see even your own innocence in the midst of everything they can see your own heart in the midst of everything they can see your purity in the in the in the sense of what you have entangled yourself with. So he wants the piece of me, you see? And he doesn't want a piece of me because he, he, he literally can get any woman he wants because of the powers that he has. And people come to him. But he wanted to, to put, to lay down, like I'm a nest of what he has. 
and I have to accept that. You know, a female breast that has been by a child, it, no, that's, that's too fresh. I don't know how you can explain that thing, how it was. Like, I was even asking myself, good, how's this going to work? Like, okay, I get it. I need to do this with you so that we exchange powers. But how is it going to work? Like, how is it going to work? Like, there's nothing. I mean, you are my great-grandfather. You know? <laughs> they didn't know. <laughs> That thing went in family. It was like I'm getting ulcers. I don't know if you know ulcers. It was like I've choked. You know, I, I ate food and I choked on food as that thing entered. And I got immediate ulcers. And I couldn't believe that. <sighs> Is it not the same thing that I just saw now? That was finished, gone, gone, gone. And I, I even was like, like, <laughs> you know, for the sake of, but it, that thing went deep. Deeper than I, I thought it would even go. It, it made me feel like I'm being choked by food. And immediately I got ulcers. It was burning. Didn't do it for 35 minutes. Like your probably average person or whatever. He did that thing for more than an hour. And I was told not to be afraid. I need to relax. Because that thing needs to sit in my home because it's a nest. The end of it was not a problem, you know. The whole scenario as he's doing it and he's speaking his foreign language is on top of me that I cannot understand and I he put a black thing potion on my skin and I don't have a problem that and we are <laughs> on the ground on a, a carpet made of uh, grass what do you call it what do you call that and when he's doing all the doings i'm feeling all that i'm feeling and i'm not really uh, happy but i need to pull up a face that i'm okay because this is a transaction between spirits when he's done he gives me rules and he tells me what's gonna happen he did not tell me that hey there's another foul smell that is coming Yo, <laughs> you know, the things that you do for yourself in order for you to, to, to get these things, they're not nice at all. And you have to go again. You must remember, I belong to a certain cult. I, you have to go complain. Good, I need this. I need this. I need this. Imagine being told that you are going to look like someone who's pregnant for about three days until that thing settled. You know, you know, there are certain things that I went through that I would sit alone now and say, but was it worth it? Was it worth it that when you do this to your own skin, you feel certain foul smell that you sometimes people can't even feel what you are feeling. You feel it alone because sometimes it comes up. You feel it in your mouth and your nose and good and goes. And for you to, to get rid of that, you have to go again. And where you are going to get something, you also need something to give something. So it was just, I bo, I bo, I bo, I bo. I come out here because I want somebody to know that in as much as we are faced with troubles in this world and we are pressed in all side, our God will always make a way. Be patient with yourself. And don't think that not having certain things is the end of life. It's actually not. There is nothing as beautiful as sleeping peacefully at night. Nothing disturbing you. And you are sleeping. And you are at peace. Than having to live with things that people don't see or people don't understand. 
and you are the only one living in a world where people there is no it's only you and the things that you went to fetch all in this for the sake of power all for the sake of you you know i was talking to a friend of mine a certain pastor uh has to pay an ex-wife about um plus minus 150 each month for her to keep quiet about the secret they have together the man has to keep uh paying in order for her not to start singing do you know what can she do if she sings she can point people to a pulpit that has kept people underneath you know what i mean and that pastor doesn't enjoy life anymore people well for pictures <laughs> to trend but do you want to trend do you want to post pictures for people that don't know you to even be so excited at the price of your peace, at the price of your stand with God. Hi, boo. No, sorry. Family. Everything. I'm telling you, be it you believe, be it you don't, everybody goes under, underground. And underground, you do not take anything. Don't make a deal with the devil because the devil will leave you in the middle of nowhere he will reject you having used you so much and he will rejoice in seeing you finished and wretched i had to deal with so many things that i had afflicted myself with you know and it was not easy. Today, I'm so normal. <laughs> I sleep literally like peacefully. It's it's new. I can't. I still can't believe I sleep. You know. And if I'm not sleeping, it's because I'm busy with the things of God and something else. But I don't have a problem with sleep. I don't have a problem with <laughs> my skin and the stench. Now it's my turn to comfort friends that I still pray for. That no antidepressant is working. No chamomile is working for me. I can't get used to this thing. The love of money is the root of every evil. And money that is, is found in those covenants. No matter what you buy with it does not bring peace no matter what you have you are going to go from point a to point z trying to find a way of minimizing the pain and the burdens that come with the first second third covenant you us you are going to continue working imagine so young you have to sleep with your great grandfather i mean of age Someone you see that I goes, I remember uh, <laughs> one other Sangoma said, hey, Pele, this one is going to die on us. <laughs> Imagine you are sitting there, you know, say certain things, it's only by God's grace. You know, you are sitting there, you are like three ladies. You know that this is what he wants to do to your people. And there's nothing you can do. He has to make your womb his nest. And you must remember, there were certain, hey, I've, I've taken covenants. <laughs> I, I, I. 
<laughs> oh, uh, this covenant with Jesus, it's it's all right. You know, it's. I do not advise anybody to seek money in a way that there are many ways to make money. Many pure, legal, nice, beautiful ways, peaceful ways of making money than seeking money from the kings of this world because the payment there is not easy. Power that you get from these kings is power that you pay with for you know you pay for what you with your life with people that you love's lives and it's something that you don't want you don't want to answer to god about you and other people so it's better to just be content and ask god to bless you in ways that you, you you want to make money on than going that other route. You see that other route family that I I know I see people, I meet people. There are a lot of people that say I would rather. Just like my friend did. My friend said, I would rather suffer because what happens on in the grave, I do not know. But truth of the matter is you will know it still while you are on earth that God is God. Money that comes from this world is, it looks nice outside. It looks nice on people looking at you and say, ah, she's got money, she's got money. But you know it's not. But the blessings from God, I will still talk about that. It brings peace. I'm a perfect example of that. Because God had to show up for me. You know, for me to come out here and tell you everything about my past is because God had to show up and he did. He still does. And he will show up even in your situation. Just not focus on what you think is. Only to find it's not. See, outside, when you see people painting, let them paint. Don't envy. Don't be jealous. Be content. There's actually so much ways of making money. And we can ever, ever see money that doesn't add sorrows. All you need to do is have a healthy, active mind. Use your brain. God can bless you from wherever you are. God can bless you from the point you're standing on. And that is a fact that can never be changed. You just bring your plans before God. Because whoever plans without him is planning in vain. May the good Lord remind you that we are not coming here to tell you, like family, I'm not coming here to tell you that my story so that it will be like a i want you to understand and learn that yes there are things outside but they come with a lot imagine having to sleep with an old man the the, the other one is, was not really old it was like 40 40 something left the stench the stench from madala that had to make me look pregnant for three days that one had to make me stop being a woman for six weeks mm -hmm. let's leave it i just wanted to tell you family this covenant <laughs> jesus these are the things that i would sit alone and think about and i'm like ah oh, jesus i saw i i know <laughs> thank you i thank you i <laughs> thank you oh i'm not ashamed of the gospel for it is the power of god and i will continue to shout and glorify him praise him in the morning in the evening in the afternoon wherever i can because i've seen the goodness of god
and I've seen God where men could not reach me. There's no hand that could hand, hold me and bring me out, but he did. I have a reason to shout about him. He saved me. He restored me in every angle of life. Where I was like, I know, I know, it's the end of me. Never rely on yourself, because if you do that, that's where you're going to meet mistakes. May the grace and peace of God be with you. Yes, money is a necessity. But do not let it rule your heart. Because it's in a heart that is filled with love of money only. That the devil knocks and enters. Be freed from the love of money. In the, in the name of Jesus. Yeah, it's nothing wrong to need money. He used money on earth. But to love it, it leads to problems. I love you, family. God loves you more. I want to share certain stories that are very, very sensitive. But I'm going to share whatever uh, the Spirit leads me. But I'm being led to share certain dreams that I had uh, with the happenings of what's happening in the body of Christ and um, happening around. I have certain dreams, especially the dream that I had 10 years ago. I love you so much. God loves you more. Stay blessed.